Last summer, I bred several virgin queens, over 60. And the first mating nuke is just as important, or the last mating nuke is just as important as the first. I have, I care for them all the same. And this one right here is one of my last mating nukes. This queen did not get much time to make a large colony and, and produce a lot of winter bees. By all rights, they should have been put in the window, but at the time they seemed to be large enough they could stay outside. So this is one of the ones that I moved from inside to outside. And I spent the last few days cleaning out the bottoms of my hives the bottom screens and now I have time to check and it's in the 40s right now I have time to go through and check and see how the small colonies are doing see if I need to do anything and this right here is an old frame that I got from 2016 when I bought some brood for some queens I had left over and I've already scraped this. I scraped, this is mostly all drone. I've scraped that off of my hive tool. And I don't want this in the hive. It's right next to the cluster. It's just not, not a healthy situation. So what I'm doing is I made, I made sure I knew where the queen was. I've already found the queen. I'll show you where she is. She could be on either one of these frames now, but when I checked, and you see how I'm careful and I give the bees time to get used to me touching them? See, I could stick my hand in here because they're accustomed to me, and I give them time to walk around on my fingers and realize that, hey, it's not a danger to them for me to be here. I'm just checking to see how they're doing. She was on this frame she could have moved over to the other one i don't mark my queens there she is right there i don't feel it's necessary uh, it's just she's right in there Trying to look through a smartphone at the same time. There she is. It's... Breed your own queens. The quality is just outstanding. I don't get this quality from any other bee queen bee that I buy from anybody they just they're so much better and be gentle with them don't jerk them around drop them in the, the deep slide them together nice and easy and what I'm gonna do with this I'm gonna select the frame that I want next I'm taking out that frame there and I'm selecting a nice open frame because in another month six, six weeks I'm going to be putting in some pollen patty and I'm checking to see how much pollen this colony has they don't have a lot so I'm going to put in some pollen patty and I want them to have an open frame to lay for the queen to lay on and then I've taken one of my deep frames with honey on it and this right here will replace the one that I'm taking out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to it's too cold to let the bees fly around right now I'm not sure all of them make it in there what I'll do is I'll I'll do this and then I will brush off the remaining the remaining bees into that deep but anyway I have a few more, like here's another one of my last mating nukes. This one right here, they killed their queen end of summer, early fall. I had to check my records, but 
and that's the one I had like several. I had four mating nukes set up to replace that one queen, and they did manage to get one new queen. So I enjoy doing this. I, I don't think of anything else to be more fun than messing with bees. And to consider this work, it's no, it's just not possible to consider this work. This is too much fun. All right, thank you.